Body punching is one of the most powerful offensive techniques in boxing. In fact, it creates highlight reel knockouts just the same as headshot knockouts do. However, it's hard to hit the body clean, let alone score a knockout from one. Be sure to watch to the end of the video as we look over boxing's most terrifying body shots. Any questions? Touch them up, let's roll. The Uzbek boxer needed only 90 seconds to hammer his opponent with a devastating body punch that left him on the canvas in agony. Arnold Barboza kept his undefeated record with a fifth round knockout win over William Silva. Arnold dropped Silva in the third round on a left hook to the head, but the finish came late in the fifth when he crushed the Brazilian with a body shot. Out of nowhere, <laughs> Barbosa Jr. In December 1992, Tommy Morrison defeated Marshall Tillman via a devastating body punch in the first round. Morrison was able to pin Tillman against the ropes and land a stunning left hook to the body. Tillman beat the count, only to be sent down again by another left hook. Another left to the body, Tillman staggers across the ring with a body shot. And, and, and quite simply, take a peek at us. Basically the same thing, just trying to stay busy. God bless, touch up. After winning his second Olympic medal, Lomachenko made his professional debut in October 2013, knocking out his Mexican challenger in the fourth round. Shot there, and uh, he might see blood. I don't know if he's seen it. And another beautiful body shot. Over. A knockout. How about that? Right on the lever, and it's over. After demonstrating impressive sharpness and hand speed in the opening round. Garcia was hit with a devastating left hand that sent him to the canvas for the first time in his career. It seems like he wants to. Oh, left hand sends the kid down. And that's what he... Later on in the fight, in round seven, Garcia had hit Luke Campbell with a fight-ending body shot. Eddie Reynoso saying to Ryan Garcia, "Here he goes, body shot." And he goes down, and now Campbell is down. Get up! It is over. Garcia. In a super bantamweight fight, Marco Barrera put an end to his battle with Benavidez via a stunning body punch in the third round. Even if the fans are hostile to me, I just hope they're loud. Oh, oh man. Got to the liver, left hand to the liver. Nine, Benavidez is down. You'll see first of all a left hook to the head, which will set it up, and then the left hand to the body. Watch the pain on the face yeah. of Benavidez. Yeah. Gerald McClellan ended his fight with James Williamson in a brutal fashion. Watch how he sticks his left side out, then shifts his weight and digs his punch into the liver. <laughs> Williamson went down screaming in agony as the hit seemed to take all the breath out of his body. An advantage. You see him bending down already, and Canelo goes to the body. From the beginning, Rocky's height advantage made him vulnerable to strong body hooks. In the third, Rocky tried to counter with his own flurry, but Alvarez had too much power as a right hook dropped Rocky hard and the referee thankfully stopped the fight when a left hook to the body floored him again. That was a headshot down oh, to the body and that should do it. It's over. That is it. It's over. He has to avoid trying so hard to avoid the... Uh... Oscar De La Hoya gets back on track with a victory over his American challenger in his first fight after his controversial defeat to Felix Trinidad. Oscar dominated the fight from the start, dropping his opponent to his knees with a body strike in the seventh round. It was an accumulation of blows, but that last left hook to the body. You've had your instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you both. Touch gloves. Good luck to you both. This was an important fight for Hay, who was coming off his first defeat of Carl Thompson three months earlier and was eager to get back into the ring. However, it only took him less than two minutes to knock out his opponent with a powerful left hook to the liver. 
Solid shot of the body. That's the one that hurts. That is the one that hurts. He won't get him from that. That's the one that hurts. That really has hurt him. You can get your... To be quite honest. But, but nevertheless, that was a superb left hook to the body. Brown has the slight advantage with reach and height. Dave Allen achieved a career best victory by knocking out Lucas Brown in three rounds. Allen endured a tough opening six minutes before unleashing a magnificent body shot that stunned the Australian, leaving him crumbled on the canvas. Nice job. Good head and beautiful oh. body shot. Well, the what left to the body. body and Honestly, Don, that's a huge shot. Right on the sweet spot. What a beautifully... 1995. Tommy Morrison knocked out Terry Anderson with his trademark left hook. In the seventh round, Morrison landed a powerful left hook to the body, dropping Anderson. In March 2010, Marcos Maidana retained his WBA super lightweight title with a six-round KO over previously unbeaten Victor Cayo. Marcos dropped his challenger at the end of round two, then continued to break him down until he was finished with a body shot. Really hold on right now and keep his hands up because he doesn't oh, have body shot right on his feet. Oh, yes. He ain't not gonna make it. <laughs> Boom, man, right above the belt. In November 2005, Floyd Mayweather defeated Mitchell in their welterweight debut fight. Displaying his hand speed and superior defense, Mayweather dropped Mitchell in the third round with a straight right hand, and again in the sixth with a hook to the body, ending the fight. Pose himself on a real strong welterweight. Yes, Second good. knockdown. Yes, Who yes, is the should. strongest of the welterweights, I think. Yeah, he should. There was a straight right hand to the body. Sean Bay Mitchell was not ready for that punch. He already was getting very fatigued, and you knew it would be. Right hand lands for Cotto. Miguel Cotto defeated Yuri Foreman to become a four-time world champion by winning the WBA super welterweight title. Foreman entered the fight with a brace and injured his knee in round seven after slipping. With only 42 seconds into the ninth round, Cotto delivered a left hook to the body that sent Foreman down. Left hook to the body there. Cotto oh. comes back with the left hook to the body and cracks it. That was the punch that once defined Miguel Cotto's career. And now, Felix Dito After getting the biggest win of his career over Pernell Whitaker, Felix Trinidad returned home to Puerto Rico to take down another opponent. Trinidad dominated from the opening bell until eventually knocking out his opponent with a left hook to the body in the fourth round. Left hook to the body, and Pineda couldn't handle that one. Spits and sure of himself, and that left hook to the body. Eric Morales claimed his first world title after defeating WBC Super Bantamweight champion Daniel Zaragoza in September 1997. Morales unleashed a massive right in the 11th round, knocking the old warrior off his feet and onto his back. Morales has fought a very intelligent fight tonight. Oh. Right there. Right there. Seriously, that they'll take it. But there you see it was a right hand again to the body. In September 1980, Jerry Cooney sent Ron Lyle into retirement by hammering him inside the first round. A left hook knocked Lyle through the ropes where he was counted out. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos.